Yeah, but he's considered to be from Berlin, basically, at this yeah? point. Yeah, I mean, he, he's been living there for three years. Oh, is that so? Yeah. I was wondering, because he was commentating so often with Mr. Love. Yeah. Okay. They are they are a very good duo. They are going to commentate top 8 later, by the way. Mm -hmm. In singles, that is. Okay, red team in the lead, actually. Doing pretty well. Ooh. Two stocks lead. Really good job so far. Yeah, they are doing pretty well. Nice team spacing as well. So I was warming up with Imperfect uh, before this. And uh, Karon actually decided to not warm up uh, with his teammates in teams, but instead just play singles matches to keep your hands warm. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't want to um, basically adapt to someone they are not even going to play against, you know? Oh, yeah. Not okay. get used to playing bad players, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then um, evaluating bad habits too. Sure. Like. I mean, I like the attempt of Karon, but unfortunately, he doesn't make it uh, in time to save his teammate. Red team now a little bit cornered, but they actually Karon is doing managed to start a punish of the good job. Uh, Battlefield. That edge is not easy to sweet spot to. This lead for red team actually starts looking very convincing. Mm -hmm. Especially if they can take out Uzlion right now. Oh, I think Peach has no jump. Yeah. Oh, uh, but Beautiful they concentrate job. on Uzlion. It was a good thing. And somehow, Karon still lives. Interesting option, the counter. Well, in teams, I think it's not that bad because someone no, sure. will hit you with something. Unless it's a grab. Yeah, unless it's a grab. That's true. But then again, grabs in teams is also a thing. At least in the two, 2v2, it's kind of weird yeah. to get a grab. You get off the punish for it. Yes. <laughs> okay. In the 2v1, however, I think grab is the perfect way to yeah. get things started. Because the enemy will be scared and, of course, shield a lot. And then you get the grab and, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why the, the uh, famous Wombo combo started off with the grab. Yeah. Happy feet. Like a fucking bike. Karan has ha having a good time right now. Karan kind of cheering himself on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, red team is off to a very good start. Let's see if they can uh, keep up the pace. I mean, we saw earlier against uh, Hazi and Baron Brody how uh, good they are at adaptation, despite yeah. the fact that they lost it in game five. Yeah, right. But the first game they also lost, right? And then, stomped, yeah. yeah. Then they came back pretty, pretty convincing. So Dreamland is the perfect decision right here, because you could see how Nick and uh, Karon were sticking very, very close together, which they cannot keep up on Dreamland as well. Yeah. Oh, this looks pretty good for a blue team, actually. But I'm, I'm not sure if, if it's just the stage or if they just adapted. Because as you said earlier, they're It's probably a bit adapting. of both. Yeah. I mean, so far... The second reason didn't even come in handy, which is obviously Peach's survivability on this stage. Okay, that Fex is not going to live up with that. Ulti now cornered. Fex getting, getting out of there.
So as long as Peach recovers high, there's barely any chance of getting an edge guard started. Because she can just spam, uh, spend so much time up there, out of reach. Waiting for Sheik to help her? Yes. I like how late he went for that back air. Nice. Getting the edge free. It's a role reversal, basically, yeah. compared to game one. Then again, game one started off with such a perfect start for Team Red. But I'd like to see another reversal in the next game. Yeah, let's see how well they can adapt. Ouch. Ooh, the needle actually is saving him. I feel like Imperfect has a good needle game just in general. Yeah, as we just saw there. Naron doesn't care about invincibility frames. Ooh, heavy down smash hitting two people. Beautiful stuff there. Almost looking American. Okay, interesting down smash. Yeah, well, this is almost impossible to do. Oh, the double transformation? Yeah. Why does he do that? Is that like... Do you get... Maybe maybe he just, just wanted to be funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I then thought there was I, I feel like sometimes problems. Sheiks uh, go for the Zelda transformation because they uh, think this way they are going to make it back. And then they realize, no, nah, it's, it's not, not enough. And then they just transform back into Sheik. Usually it's before... Not on their last stock, you know, where they... Uh, still benefit from the fact that they died as Sheik, because uh, they respawn they, yeah. as Sheik. Yeah, true. Interestingly yeah. enough, if you uh, charge your needles as Sheik and transform into Zelda, um, and die and transform back into Sheik, I think you keep your needles. Oh no, really? I think so. Oh, I didn't know that. Or something similar, I forgot. <laughs> Someone told me that. Maybe they are transforming to Zelda, so the enemy makes the edge free, and then go yeah. back to Sheik to just grab ledge. Oh, get up attack, countering the down smash. <laughs> nice tipper. On Yoshi's especially. Easy kills. Who's Leon wisely recovering as high as he possibly can to avoid any, any confrontation. Yoshi's and teams are so chaotic most yeah, of the time. Yeah, it is, it is. Which is why I kind of think the underdogs are yeah, more fond of this stage than the favorites, usually. Yeah, because both would choke in the same way on this stage. Yeah, maybe, mo maybe. more chaos means more randomness, you know. Ooh, charged F smash to offstage air dodge. Wow. Ooh. So many hits. Ooh, that was a nice, nice edge guard versus Uzleon. Yeah, Uzleon, Uzleon uh, pretty much overcommitted to that back air because he thought he could catch him out of the upbeat. But he was a little too late on it. And then he paid the price. Good DI by Karon. Making sure he doesn't get fared. Oh, I thought that down smash would hit. And he thought the same, I guess. We're having a very close game right now. Oh, 
Oh, he tried to fast fall onto Randall. Sick. That was sick. Oh, brilliant combo so far. Back air. Oh, that was beautiful. fantastic. That looked really, really crisp. Wow, current full of energy right there. Playing in socks. Whatsoever. Okay, final destination. I think just in general, Fex and uh, Uzleon like the stage a lot in teams. Not even anything matchup specific, just in general. Mm. Yeah, uh, the way they, they chain their combos works very, very well on FD. Yeah, we had to play them too, and I picked FD too. So they know the stage, I guess. And how to play there. Oh, that was unfortunate. That was not the target he wanted. Yeah. Whistler on deciding, I have enough of your spacing, Caron. I'm just going to attack your teammate instead. Can they get the edge guard in time? No, they cannot. Ooh. I think he doesn't have a jump. Okay, now he gets. Wow, he's getting comboed right now. No, no, sometimes it is better to leave the edge and get the other one um, to take it. Yeah. And then instead going for the other one and comboing him yeah. together. I feel like especially when you're facing uh, like a very floaty team, yeah, like just say you play against Jigglypuff and Jigglypuff is off stage, just just two v one the uh, yeah the other because guy. he will make it anyway back yeah. to the stage probably. Okay, nice attempt. There we have it, the target switch you were talking about. Yeah. And forward throw. Oh, beautiful spacing on that up air. And now blue team again with a convincing lead yeah. on their favorite stage. As we said in the beginning, um, it would be nice to see both team adapting to each other. Yeah. And right now it's looking like we are having a 2-2 two, um, two, two score. But Let's see and find out. Yeah. Smash? No? Okay. Wow. Let's see how long Caron. can uh, Uzleon yeah. keep this stock alive. little volleyball exchange. Yeah, it always reminds one of volleyball, right? Yeah. Ooh! Ooh. Not quite UGS, but still. Pulling off something for the fans. Yeah, that was convenient. Yeah, convincing, I mean. And as Sheik said before, it's 2-2 two, two now. And we're going to see a game five. And yeah. interestingly enough, the name of the crew on the left is actually game five. No way. It is? It is. 
Yeah, they hosted Helix. Ah, and yeah, then didn't host five. anything again. <laughs> I really hope they host Helix too, because Helix was an amazing, amazing event. Uh, wasn't it uh, also part of this like circuit? Yeah, the um, European like Smash Circuit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think there were good players as well, like West Balls was there. Very good players, yes. West Balls was there, Over was there, Armada was there. Yeah. Ice actually beat uh, beat West Balls there. Oh uh, yeah? In I set. don't remember. Oh, Uzleon having a little bit of trouble right now. Ooh, that F smash wasn't supposed to hit the perfect and kill him too. Oh, sneaky. Yeah, Moth trying to get into a safe posi position right now. Oof, that was risky. I mean, it's a good start by Team Red. Maybe not as good as in game one, but it's still... Small lead, at least. The stage they're comfortable on. The stage where they managed to uh, get a win already. That hurts. No DI on the fair as well. Oh, and the. Uh, Good decision by, there by Caron delaying his recovery, but this is a very tricky situation for them. I think he just killed his teammate. But I, th I think he was in an dead attempt anyway. to save him. Yeah, 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 right. That's not what you want to have happen if you're Fex. Yeah. Low percent Especially in death game five. on his tournament life, too. Oh, that's losers. You're right. But still definitely manageable, if, if, if they just get, like, the Sheik stock right now. Like, it, it all comes down to how fast they can finish off uh, Imperfect now. But Karon is, is just a wall. Yeah, now he's uh, trying to get in front. Oh, okay, double, double up. <laughs> I think those were supposed to be fast uh, up airs. No Ooh, temper nice on the forward needle smash. Game there. And they actually take out Uzleon before Imperfect dies. That is so great. 170, wow. Okay, that's it. Wow. Okay, if they manage to kill Peach early. It might be an easy win, but if not, and they are coming in two down smash results or something. And I feel like Fex is one of the better players in, in positions like this. He, he knows how to how to choose his fights, you know. Then again, if he takes too much time, it's all time that Uzleon has to play 1v2, basically. Like right there, you saw him float. Yeah. And then he tried to get in and got punished for it, so... Let's see how Kali enter Uzleon is. In the 1v2. They came in the top platform. It's risky going for the grab in a 1v2. Like he just did. But he didn't get it anyway. Ah, oh, he yeah, tried to he, run yeah. through, yeah. Not a bad idea, actually. But Karam was prepared, I guess. Oh, sheesh. For some reason he didn't get punished. Oh, was that a phantom or...? I'm not, not really sure, to be honest. Okay. Still living with 140. Ah, it was poor priority, Liver just told us. Yes! yes. Strong performance there by Karl wow, and uh, You could call that an upset. I think so too, I think so too. Yeah. Das ist mir ja. auch, dass ihr genauso passt, ich wurde Slide-Off.
Dings, das ist so kacke. Ich weiß, das ist richtig scheiße. Clown! Clown looking, looking really happy right now. Yeah. Unlike Fax. I haven't seen him on uh, many tournaments in the past, in the recent past at least. Yeah. So, it's a good performance. It is, it is, it is. 